Is your Windows 10 computer running slow even after you have restarted it and no apps are running? Are you experiencing a 100% CPU usage and disk usage when checking the task manager? There's a chance that this could be caused by the high CPU usage by service host, local system process. This is actually not a single process but a group of processes which include the Windows Auto Update, User Manager, Group Policy Client Process, and other system processes. Normally, this process won't use up much of your computer resources but sometimes though this problem can occur which is what we will be fixing today. In this short video, we will tackle the troubleshooting methods on how to fix high CPU usage by service host local system. Before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps for this particular problem it's best to restart your computer. This will refresh the Windows 10 system and usually remove any corrupted temporary data that could be causing the problem. How to fix high CPU usage by service host local system first, disable Superfetch. Superfetch only works when your computer is using a mechanical hard drive and not an SSD. What this does is it helps speed things up by checking which applications you use the most and loading its files to RAM so that it can be accessed quickly. Sometimes a bug in the Windows program can cause Superfetch to use a ridiculous amount of system resources which is why you will need to disable this feature. Take note that you should only do this if you are actually experiencing this problem as this feature is important in speeding up your computer computer operation. To disable Superfetch, first, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type services.msc then press Enter or click on OK. Scroll down the list of services on your computer and locate the service named Superfetch. In here, since I am using an SSD Superfetch is not available, but if you have a Superfetch services, continue with the steps. Next, double-click on Superfetch to edit its settings. Then, click Stop to stop the service. Next, set the startup type for Superfetch to disabled. Then, click on Apply and then on OK to confirm. Next, restart your computer then check if the high CPU usage by service. Host local system process still occurs. Next, fix the memory leak in the non-paged pool. The non-paged pool is a memory which resides in physical memory, it is never paged up. It is used by the kernel and also by device drivers installed on your computer to store data. The amount of memory given to the non-paged pool varies and is determined by various factors. Sometimes a lot of memory is taken by the non-paged pool which in turn can cause this problem. To fix this just follow these steps. First, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type regedit then press Enter or click on OK. A prompt message appears if you allow this app to make changes to your device, click on Yes. Next at the Registry Editor section, navigate to HKEY underscore local underscore machine folder. Then click on System folder. Then click on Control Set 001 folder. Then click on Services, then scroll down under Services and choose an DU. Locate and double click on the registry value titled Start to modify it. Change its value data to 4. This will disable it and plug the memory leak in the non-paged pool. Next, click on OK, then, close the registry editor. Restart your computer then check if the high CPU usage by service host, local system process still occurs. Next, run the system file checker. Sometimes this problem can be caused by corrupted system files. If this is what's causing the problem you will need to scan your computer for these corrupted system files and repair them. First, at the search bar on your Windows taskbar type CMD. Then, right-click on the command prompt and click Run as Administrator. 
A prompt message appear if you allow this app to make changes to your device, click on yes. Then at the command prompt, type this command, then press enter. Once the scan has completed and is successful, you'll see the response. Then, enter the command, and press enter. Next. Restart your computer then check if the high CPU usage by service host, local system process still occurs. Next, perform a clean boot. A clean boot of your system starts Windows using a minimal set of driver and programs. This will allow you to check if the problem is caused by a corrupted driver or program file. Make sure you are running an administrator account on your computer. First, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type ENS config then press Enter or click on OK to open System Configuration section. Then, at the System Configuration section, click on Services tab. Next, uncheck the Hide All Microsoft Services button. Then, click on Disable All then press OK. Next, click on Startup, then click on Open Task Manager. Then, at the Task Manager section click on Startup. Next, click on all the application in the list which has an enabled status and select Disable. After disabling the application on the list, restart your computer. Once computer completely reboots, check to see if the issue goes away. If the error isn't encountered anymore, start enabling the services one by one and identify the service by enabling which the error comes back. Lastly, terminate the SVC host. The SVC host is a system process used to host multiple instances of Windows. It can sometimes cause this particular problem which is why you should try killing this process. First, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type Task Manager then press Enter or click on OK to open Task Manager section. Click on More Details to expand the manager. This reveals all the running process. Next, scroll down to the Windows Processes and search through the process for Service Host, Local System. This process hosts Windows Update and the Update Orchestrator service. Next, select on this task and click End Task. When the confirmation dialog shows up, check Abandon Unsaved Data and Shut Down and click the Shut Down. Check if the high CPU usage by service host, local system process still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed high CPU usage by service host local system. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.